guys, it's Phantom Success and we're here back again with another Phantom Success in video. Take a sip of this coffee. I actually couldn't make coffee today. Like, I actually found out that I still had coffee in my coffee jar, cup, whatever. And I'm like, I'm gonna heat that up. And instead of making more coffee because we only have a little bit of powder. And I felt bad instead of making it all to myself and being selfish. I like left it there. I'm like, no, I'll leave it for tomorrow. And good news, we got snacks, candy, crackers, and a few chips. I think we have juice in the refrigerator. <laughs> but I found out what time my uncle works. He works at 5 a.m. So um, I don't. The hotspot isn't on, so I don't know if I'm going to be. He would upload this. I'm going to maybe dix my grandma. But anyways, so today I bring you Usagi. I let my British was ad, acting up and I was saying G. You saw G because when my British accent starts acting up, I usually add G sometimes to things instead of G. So Usagi, ex listener confession slash insecurity comfort which is both into one so this is a part two your prayers have been answered and if i can tomorrow or today i'll be making a 2007 donatello x listener just to like get my work done but i hope you guys enjoy my discord link server um instagram web pad and the songs that i use will be in the description below and i hope you guys enjoy we're very close to 4k, I hope we get there. Alright, to get this video started already. So, you and Yusagi have been basically living with each other for a while now. And you've been like, you've been training pretty hard. And I mean like, more than usual. I mean, you guys already train a lot. And that's fine because and say he can be a little... Um, tough on you guys because you know you're kind of um, teen slash adults, pre adults. Um, take a sip of this coffee. I don't know why my throat is so freaking dry. I think that's better. Um, and then basically, some days when you weren't supposed to go to training, you showed up anyway, and Yusagi has been noticing that. And, oh, and to be warned, sensitive topics, as in insecurities, just in that, um, just in that cloud right there, or in that section, and there's just going to be, like, um, self-harm stretch marks, and just, like, etc. insecurities. We'll get there when we have to get there. And plus, you haven't been talking to Yusagi at all lately. You've been just mainly, like, you know, focusing on one, training, and secondly, working out, and tons of work, which was making you burnt out and mainly stressed. So one day, Yusaki decided to go up to you and not confront you, but ask you about it. You were on your work desk in your room, or in your guys' room, and he tapped you on the shoulder. He saw what you were doing and looked at him. Yes, Yusagi? You touched your head. <clears throat> uh, hey, listener. Um, we haven't talked in a while, have we? His nose slightly twitched because he was worried, and you know he was also um he was also nervous to ask you. So when he's nervous, his nose also twitches. You rubbed your shoulder a little bit, out of you know, kind of shoulder pain yeah we haven't but what's up um i just wanted to ask you what's been going on lately your eyes widened in shock a little bit thinking that he wouldn't notice what you were doing overworking and stuff like that but then you finally realize you've been caught you slightly stuttered N nothing nothing at all why do you ask he sighed. I know there's something up. You've been distant, overworking yourself, staying up late nights, 
and just doing lots of things you shouldn't be doing so I decided to ask you what's going on he gently like placed his hand on your cheek just yes very comforting bunny boy you leaned into his touch you were like becoming soft that was that's not a bad thing but you were like you know feeling warm inside like you could trust him about the subject you said nothing isagi nothing i'll maybe tell you later okay or later on it's nothing important right now you put your hand over his his nose twitched again as his bunny tail slightly wagged a little bit he gave us a, a small little grin or smile if you say so i'm just checking up on you okay i've i've been worried i just don't want you overworking yourself okay you nodded well i have to go back to writing okay <laughs> uh, stay in the living room i'll come out and i'll make some tea for both of us he smiled and nodded and went back to the living room of course he was thinking i know they're lying i know there's something up but he didn't want to you know push you into the subject and make you open up he wanted you to get comfortable with him first and then you could open up to him a few hours later at least like an hour or two later you went out to the living room and made some tea maybe some green tea or chamomile my favorite being mint and peppermint tea oh <laughs> like a lavender tea it can make you go to sleep that's like delicious but any whistle you sat down next to him and he like you were like staring at your arms for a little bit before you even touched your cup of tea. He was like observing you basically. You know when teachers like have their eye on you and they will not take their eyes off of you basically. And then you finally like snapped out of it giving it a slight head shake. You know that tiny little head shake that you give when you snap back to reality. Oh there goes gravity. Anyway. And you say, <clears throat> well, how's the tea, Yusagi? He said, oh, it's great. Just be careful, it's a little hot. He blew on his tea and just took a little sip. He smiled. His little bunny tail wagged a little bit because he really enjoyed your cooking. Like cooking or when you made tea. Just like, mm, yes, very much appreciated. You took a sip of your tea and... He could tell you were thinking a lot by the expression of your face. You were like maybe overthinking or you just had too many things on your plate. Here, we have a thing um, in Brazil where you say my plate's full or like my head's full of things. It's like a way of saying my head or I just have too many things to do. All right, just explaining that to you guys. I don't know why it's like it takes so much oxygen to whisper what the hell anyway um at least a month later he couldn't take it anymore but before that month a few weeks before it became a month let's say two weeks he saw this so basically he was going to go into the room the door was slightly open but he was like oh they must be changing so i'm not going to go in but then he heard you crying question mark take a sip of this coffee because this is getting interesting he heard you crying so he took a slight peek not of disrespect he was curious out of curiosity and you were basically looking at yourself in a mirror of course you had a non-binary or trans binder on um fluff ball was rubbing against your legs to comfort you and you were looking at your stretch marks your cuts and birthmarks and you cried to yourself okay this is time for fake crying please excuse me i'm going to try my best <clears throat> I, I don't know i hate to look like this 
and I don't know why I hate myself so much. You wiped your tears, and that's when his ears like went all up, like all the way up. His nose slightly twitched out of you know being worried, and so he listened closely. I I just wish I were prettier or I wish I was like her there was a picture of this random girl like you know those girls you see on Pinterest pretty ass girls who make us feel insecure or boys this like um picture of a girl or a boy on your mirror it was like taped there and it was basically you were trying to accomplish something like you were trying to become like them or as pretty as them and so he took a look at the photo and he thought to himself why they're they're perfect just the way they are i i don't get it like he had his own insecurity of course interruptive motorcycle excuse you take a sip of this coffee and so he didn't want to interrupt you with your moment with you were self venting it's called self vent there's venting comfort and self venting which is in that category self venting is when you vent to yourself like you are talking to somebody but you're letting it out anyway without quote unquote bothering anybody you're not bothering anybody you're just basically asking to be comforted anyway Two weeks later, aka making a month, you were wrapping or bandage, bandaging, quote unquote, your arms up for training when it was your day off. And then Yusagi stopped you by very, very gently, cute as fluffy paws, grabbing your wrist. You said, huh? Yusagi could you please let go i i have things to do you didn't even look at him you had like this rough tone in your voice which he's never heard before you were pretty stressed and pretty angered he sighed and took a deep breath listener listen to me your name is literally listen anyway i saw what happened two weeks ago your eyes widen. What do you mean two weeks ago? You, you tried to act like you didn't know what happened. I saw what happened and I heard everything. Don't try to act like you don't know what happened or like you don't know shit. The fluffy bunny boy has cursed. I alert you, he has cursed. Anyway. So you turn back to look at him and he looked worried or slash a little a little mad he wasn't mad at you but he was mad at what happened at the situation he said take a seat i'll be right back he brought you back some tea as you guys sat down next to each other now please tell me what's going on he looked at you, and I mean, he literally stared into your soul. You sigh. I'm... I'm not sure we're even a start. But I'm going to give you at least a little bit of it. I've been being harsh on myself. Disciplining myself. Trying to look like this one person. And I think they're better than me. And I've been wanting to look like them and have the same characteristics. I'm insecure about the marks I have on my body. You take a little bit of like, you know, the bandages you had on your arm. You unwrap them and show him your self-harm marks. And his ears went up, his nose twitched, and his eyes widened. Because he didn't see the marks, he just saw the bandages that day. You... He, he stuttered, and you said, Yes, I got. 
I do this to myself or torture myself because I I just want to be better. I want to be like what the world sees. I'm a people pleaser, literally me. I just want to be better. You wrap the bandages back up, taking a sip of that tea. He hugged you. He immediately hugged you. Like you placed your cup down first and then he hugged you. You've never seen Yusagi like that before. And he sniffled. You thought you made him cry, but the reason why he was crying because... Here you, here's the sentence. Sinner, <sighs> you're... You're... Um... Interruptive motorcycle. Anyway. You're perfect just the way you are. I, I don't understand. He looked back at you, cupping your face. And I love you just the way you are. He was literally not paying attention to anything he was saying. He was just letting his heart out. I love you just the way you are. I've loved you since the first day I saw you. And Sensei knows about this. That I, that I really, really like you. Your smile makes me feel warm inside and it melts me to bits. The way you compliment me in the mornings, afternoons, or the way you just notice me. I love it. His ears went up as his nose twitched. And just your soft, soothing voice and hmm, your cooking. His tail was supersonic speed. Everything about you is perfect. Little, little cute bunny smile showing that cute cute bunny teeth and then he realized what he said ears went pointy they twitched a little bit his eyes widened as he uncupped your face and he realized I, I didn't mean to say any of that he looked away oh god you saw you, you freaking idiot you cupped his face making him look back at you you saw wait did I say you saw G or you saw G me realizing my grammar right now anyway just forget that i said yusaji it's just because bortesh decided to act up and my memory too you cupped Yusa yusagi's face making him look back at you and you said yusagi i never knew you felt this way for me and to be honest i feel the same way for you so don't worry. And second of all, you're not an idiot. You booped his nose with yours, basically like a nose touch. And his nose was non-stop twitching. His face became a slight, slightest um, rose pink, rose pink shade. And he just stared at you as his ears once again went up, pointy up. And like... And then you started to hear a slight bunny squeaking noises. Then you chuckled. Oh, you're so cute when you're shy. You played with his played with his hair a little bit, like just ruffled it. And you covered his face, and all you heard was squealing. Once he had his um, hands down from his face, you decided to gently. A little bit of romance here it just it adds to it you gently like lift up his chin and small smooch what is a smooch it's basically a kiss but not a kiss and you just gave him a small smoo smooch on the lips Mwah. and that did it his foot was tapping sonic speed And then you just chuckle <laughs> as he covered his face once again. Fluffball was just in between you two watching like, I knew this was going to happen. You picked up Yusagi, bridal style. You are strong. I know some of you guys out there. Okay, for the chubby people. Please, sometimes we can be strong, us chubby people, for real. 
You picked up your soggy, took him to your bedroom, me at the hotel, and then just laid him down. You lay down next to him, not caring if you were in, you know, your quote unquote warrior uniform or training uniform and just spooned him. You could like feel his heart beating so fast. And you said, Shh, calm down. This is called spooning. Okay? On your legs, I, I feel like he would be at least a little shorter than you. Or maybe a little taller than you. However you see it, I feel like he would be a little taller than you, maybe. Depending on what he's wearing. Um, you felt like his bunny tail just wagging. And you chuckled, slightly nuzzling him at the back of his neck. And you said, okay, okay, I'm calm. I'm calm. <laughs> um... <clears throat> so, does that mean... And then you said that I love you too? Yes, Yusagi. That's what it means. And then more bunny squeaks. And then you said, Well, looks like you're happy. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. And then you heard Yusagi chuckle. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> Jesus. Um, and we're very close to 5K. 5K, right? Yeah. I just went on YouTube Studios and saw that I have 4K. I think I've been seeing we've been we we're close to 4K this entire time i don't know please correct me in the comments but we're very close to 5k i hope we get there my instagram discord link server wattpad and the songs that i use will be in the description below i hope to see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed i'm sorry that i kept like interrupting my sentences it's just because i'm in a really silly mood and i hope this uploads quickly or uploads at least at i'm going to take a guess at six seven eight in the morning since i'm not using the hot spot i'm going to ask if they can turn it on but i'll see you guys in the next video bye